Welcome back to The Live Wire. My name's Kirsten Kire. I'm from the Belt College of Business, and I have a special guest here today from our MBA program, who's actually produce, uh, pursuing two degrees, which we'll hear about in a second. His name is Scott Pion. Welcome, Scott, to the program. Hi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Well, I'm eager to talk to you about both of your degrees that you're pursuing and to hear a little bit about your background. So maybe if you could you could start telling us a little bit about your path mm -hmm. of, of how you pursued your undergraduate degrees and then how you decided to pursue the degrees you're going for. So it's sort of a long tail. Um, I received my bachelor's degree in psychology from UNC Chapel Hill and went for a master's in experimental psychology from North Carolina Central University. Um, I took a research position after graduation and realized that I didn't like doing research. The plan was to go get a PhD after that. So I decided to refocus. Uh, I had always worked tangentially involved in healthcare. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to go for healthcare administration. So I started looking for masters of healthcare administration programs across the country and found that at UNC Charlotte, not only is there a wonderful master of health administration program, but you can dual degree with the masters of business administration. So I looked into that. Um, it's a fantastic program. And so I decided to come here. Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about, um, and in terms of the MBA, mm -hmm. We are talking specifically about that program today. Tell us about why that's a good fit sure. with healthcare and what you're hoping to do with it. Sure. Um, well, let me sort of give you the distinction between the two degrees because I think that that's helpful in understanding. Uh, the Masters of Health Administration is very useful for me to learn the healthcare industry. So I'm learning trends, and obviously, with the Affordable Care Act, we have so many different things happening in the industry. But the actual hard skills, see I was a psychology major so I don't have the finance or the accounting or the marketing. And so the hard skills, I needed the MBA to give me that. And frankly, uh, I couldn't have been more pleased with this program. I've learned how to do everything I should have learned how to do in business. And so now I can take those skills mm -hmm. that I learned in the MBA program and bring them into the industry that I've also been learning about at the same time. Fantastic. And so tell us a little bit about the curriculum and um, the experience you've had so far, the people you've gotten to know, the connections sure. you've made. Sure. Um, so there are 37 credit hours in the MBA program, uh, which is about 12 courses. So you're taking everything, the basics, uh, marketing, operations, accounting, et cetera. Uh, most people can pick a concentration. Now, because I'm a dual degree, it was sort of difficult to fit a concentration in. Um, but people pick concentrations such as finance or management. Uh, I, I believe they're starting a risk management one to go for the last guest. Um, but I, the courses that have stuck with me are the ones that forced me to get out of my comfort zone. So one I'd like to highlight, uh, I took negotiations and conflict management, which is taught by Dr. Gary Kohut. He's the director of the MBA program. And so the course is it teaches you the art and the science of negotiation, and it's done be through simulated negotiations. So you do six negotiations a semester, uh, and you're assigned roles, and you learn how to negotiate. And so one of the things he teaches you, and I'm going to give this one away for free, uh, is to always understand your BATNA, which is your best alternative to a negotiated agreement. So surprisingly, I don't just use that in business. When I'm arguing with my family, or my, my, my dad, for example, uh, I'm always thinking, well, is this worth the argument? What is my best alternative here? So not only has this one class made me a better professional, I think it's made me a more patient person as well. <laughs> well, what a benefit. That's, that's great. And so tell us about the, the, I don't know if you're in a cohort or if there's a variety of the, the students that are in the program oh. with you. If you could tell us about the variety of people that you're meeting mm -hmm. and interacting with, that would be great too. So um, diversity is a key key word in the MBA program. And that's not just ethnic diversity, it's age diversity, it's skill diversity. So I've had classes with people who are executives, CEOs and COOs of their company. Uh, we have classes with new grads and people who are international students. And you learn, we have world-class faculty, but you learn almost more from the classmates. People, people offer their work experience. I didn't have a ton of experience when I came in, but to be able to hear about um, marketing challenges that were in uh, 
the going on at the airport or uh, people who work for Bank of America having having financial challenges and talking about it in our in our accounting class. That's that's really valuable and you learn so much from them and it's not just about learning, it's networking. I, I found internship opportunities from my classmates um, and it's made it just it enriches the program. Absolutely. And the classes are all taught for the MBA program at the Center City campus. Yes. If we could take a look at the website together, sure. maybe, and that way, that's where people can find more information. And um, I understand that you're you're quite familiar with this web page. <laughs> I am. So this will give a good overview. People can access it at mba.uncc.edu. That's one way that they could find mm -hmm. it easily. And it looks like there's a variety of info sessions that are coming up. Yes. And how, how did you um, hear about this particular program and the mm -hmm. opportunity to combine the degrees? Well, so I learned about it the same way we're asking our viewers to learn about it. I, I found the website. Um, the sneaky piece of advice I'd like to give people is to come to Charlotte, um, to go to Center City. It is one of the most beautiful buildings I've ever been in. I don't didn't quite get the architecture right away. It's actually a stack of books, and you can see a photo of that on the website. Um, but while the book stack might look abstract to some, yeah, it... Uh, I'm not sure if we can re find the, the, the book stack, but we'll <laughs> have to find that later, yeah. It's, it's right in the middle of Charlotte. And so what you learn in your MBA study is that the, the classes are, are great, mm. but you really learn how to network, and you learn that your network is one of your most valuable currencies. So if you want to work anywhere, we're, Charlotte's one of the biggest economic hubs. To, I think it's the second largest in banking, and so to be right in the middle of the city, mm. the book stack is literally right in the middle of the city. Uh, if you come and visit and you see this clean, beautiful building, you won't want to go anywhere else. And that area is only growing. I yes. mean, we can see it vis visibly outside the windows. Well, tell us a little bit, too, about um, what, what you might tell someone who is considering the program, of course, to come to Charlotte mm -hmm. to visit, but that they might not realize about UNC Charlotte or about the Belt College of Business that might surprise them. Uh, well, one of the things they might be surprised by is the class, the classmates, I should say. The, the student body is just so diverse, as we were talking about earlier, and, and so supportive. You would think, I think that business schools get a bad rap. Um, everybody's competitive, competing over jobs and internships and what have you. And that's not the experience at UNC Charlotte. Everybody is so warm and welcoming. Just this morning I sent an email on someone's behalf to try to get them an internship. We work together because ultimately the more successful that my classmates are, the more value there is with my degree. And so that that's sort of a, a mantra that, that our student body has adopted. And so everybody is so helpful and so friendly. Uh, and the faculty, the faculty themselves, I mean, some of these professors have tenure and you would think, oh, they don't really care. They're just here picking up a check. And in reality, they'll sit with you and work through problem sets. They'll help you find internships. They'll just chit chat with you if that's what you need. And it's just such a warm and welcoming environment. It's not what you would expect a, at business school. And yet it's wonderful here at UNC Charlotte. Well, fantastic. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? This has really been a great overview. Sure. Um, I would say that that graduate school is hard and an MBA program is hard. So I would encourage everybody to, to evaluate your life and you need to make sure that it's the right time for you to go to graduate school. But if it is, um, there's no better place to do it than UNC Charlotte. And it's not all fun and interviews on the live wire, uh, <laughs> but it's it's such a welcoming environment and they really set you up to succeed and so it, career development is incredible I'd be remiss if I didn't mention our career development is one of the best I've ever heard of um, so if you've decided that it's the right time in your life to get a, a graduate degree then this is the right place to come fantastic well as a thank you to you I'd definitely like <laughs> to um, help you succeed with this with this t-shirt that's part of the Niner Nation, Nation Gives Day. And I hope that you enjoy that. Thank you very much. I really thank you for your time today, Scott. Thank you. And um, 
thanks again and have a great day and best of the luck in the programs. Thank you. Okay.